What is up bros? I hope you guys are all doing really good and staying safe during these crazy times. My goal in this video is to blow your mind and give the bra fam a break from the craze that we're currently in. I've been really excited to release this video because literally every single trick in here is something that you can use with this new update and on the brand new reworked organ. We got a few new spawn kill spots, crazy anchor angles that'll make you look like a hacker, and a whole lot more. Basically, the bra fam is completely nutty for sending in these tricks for another packed episode of Discord Tricks. If you like this video, then please consider leaving a like. It really helps a lot, and I truly appreciate each and every single one. Don't forget, you can also now text me at the number you see on screen here, but I'm going to stop wasting your time now, and let's get right into the first trick to get you easy kills in Operation Void Edge. Up first is gonna be the across the map angle into parking and what's funny about this one is that you could do this before the rework but one of the changes they made to this map is by adding that metal sheeting that blocks the line of sight from big tower door to parking and to be honest if you died from this big tower door before the rework then that is 100% your fault that is such a freebie spawn peak and now look what's happened. This metal sheeting was added to help the people that cry about spawn peaks that should be a free kill for the attackers and now it's going to help us spawn peak because now the main threat to the spawn peaker on big tower has been completely blocked. And so now we can just open up the garage, shoot through the garage door and it's an even better spawn kill since the attackers will need to be keeping their crosshairs in the garage and then into the map as they enter and cross this line of sight they are not going to be expecting something like this at all. Now if you guys like that one, you guys are going to love this one. This one's going to be even more well hidden. And I love both of these options because we're just straight up making it obvious at this point. We want someone to think that we suck by obviously opening up this window in small dorms because if you or I saw that, we'd probably think, wow, this dude does not know how to be sneaky at all and we'd go peek it for the easy pick, right? Well, we're going to be 47 steps ahead yet again by being all the way in the back of dining room elevated on this table with the sideways table protecting your body with just your forehead peeking over it with the hole in the wall going through the garage with an ACOG. You'll see in this example how nearly impossible it is to see this defender from the outside and I don't know if it's the color of the map or maybe the outside lighting or some mix of both of them but this is so hard to see and I'm going to be staring straight at him on the table from the outside and I still can't really make out if it's the actual player. By the time the attacker goes to the wall the defender is going to take the head off of them since this angle goes sideways for a deep line of sight just a couple of seconds outside of the spawn. Okay, so this time we're gonna actually let the attackers come out of their spawn and get a little bit closer to the building, but we're still not gonna let them touch it. These next two angles that Arson showed me are some of the best anchor angles that I've seen on a new map in a very long time. Now, in order to do this first one, you're just gonna need to one tap the top of the coat rack and then you'll be able to vault over it on top of the dresser. From there, you will be only able to crouch but once you inch your way to the edge, you will get a slight drop down and then you're going to be free to uncrouch. You'll actually be able to stand up and then from there you can back up, put your butt up against the wall and then from there you can even look over the bunks to see outside at the perfect head level of the main big window that everybody stacks up on outside of the dorms. The attackers are only going to be able to see just the tip of your forehead if they even happen to look up here. If anybody's approaching the big window, the crosshairs are going to be at head level just checking the bunk beds. They're not going to be expecting to see two pixels of somebody's forehead looking 10 feet over a bunk bed. And on top of that, you're going to be able to take out anyone that gets to as close as just one meter away from the window. Of course, if the attackers come from the other side of the map and do like an armory push, then this spot is still great because it is not expected at all as of right now to see somebody up here.
Now the second angle is going to be in kids dorms right where the hatch used to be on the old organ and from here you can actually go prone with the hole opened up in the wall to see deep outside of the big window. If you and a friend like anchoring and one is on the dresser with the second one over here it's going to be so annoying to attackers when they get anywhere near the big window. This angle can actually see crazy far outside also and is really close to the top of small tower even though you're prone. And with the colors again just with the combination of the attackers being outside in the lighting plus all of the brown on the interior it just makes it so hard for attackers to see you through the chains and the smoke of the bomb. Of course the best counter to all of these spots is to use your drones right so if you do have another teammate that can play like an intel denial or some sort of comp like that it's going to escalate all of these spots even higher on the charts. All right, now all of this wouldn't be complete without adding in this bonus early kill spot that Hologram Sam found by simply jumping out of the small tower and then chucking a C4 over the RV. Now, if you wanna get an early rage quit on the team, then you can have a player do the C4 and then have a second one back in dining room watching for any survivors that might come around for the chase. Now just imagine the comms of the attacking team when one dude gets flown back into spawn with a C4 and then the player coming in for the refrag gets one tapped by a doc with the Halloween mask popping his forehead over a table three rooms away. Now I'm not claiming to be any sort of mathematician whatsoever but I'm pretty sure that equals at least one all F4. Now these next two are also from Sam and they're going to be some really well placed utility. This one is going to be just a quick frost map placement and with the new attic having that drop down as you approach dorms it's going to make for a crazy well hidden frost mat. If you're looking down more than normal then you may see the corner of it as you're approaching it but there's a really good chance that their crosshairs will be ads on the door and not paying attention to this spot at all for a frost mat down that'll make them feel really dumb. You also can place it further over to the side to keep it a little bit more hidden but then there is enough space to get past so it's it's totally up to you. You could even place it over the vaultable ledge just in case someone chooses to do that too. The second utility spot is going to be with Valk and this one is going to depend on the lighting setting that you have. Now if you're in meeting it's a solid option regardless but keep in mind that while this camera is beyond invisible when thrown anywhere near this light if the attackers are playing on the lowest graphic settings then this light actually doesn't have the brightness to it and you'll be able to see the exact shape of the light plus the camera. Now if the attackers have anything above low then it's pretty much like looking straight into the sun in this spot and you can bet your ass that the camera would be here the entire round. Up next is a throwback to one of my first popular siege videos I've ever made and it was this thermite trick where when placed above a reinforcement you can take out huge sections below even when muted and electrified. Well Mogi here submitted another awesome place you can use this and it's for when you need to attack the dining room and after you take small tower. Once you do have this opened up, I'm also going to show you a sick angle to hold. So there's going to be two tricks that you can use in a series to absolutely crush this site. Now you can just shoot out the battery charge from above, but what you can't always do is find the Cade Electra Clause. So this is a great counter to any obstacles that you might face when you're taking this wall. Once you do have this wall opened up, you will be able to vault over it back and forth. But before you do that, you can vault on top of the wooden sheets and concrete inside of small dorms to get a tight angle through the sideways table and into the kitchen door. Man, this sideways table is literally just the nuttiest table in all of Siege, isn't it? That's literally two insane angles that we're using it and it's on different parts of it. Up next is going to be some clever electroclaw spots to lock down the new basement defense. Now when you enter the basement from construction as an attacker you can tell that it's pretty safe. 
there's not really any flank routes besides the regular tunnel that leads to Harry Potter. And then there's a total of four reinforced walls that you can choose from to open up right into sight. Well, these Electroclaw spots are going to be out in the open, but they're going to be in such an unorthodox placement that I think they're going to have a really high chance of success. Now, the first one being thrown out of garage, you got to make sure not to destroy the plants because those are destructible plants and they also help keep that first Cade Electroclaw really well hidden. I personally haven't had a chance to test this in ranked yet, but I'm really curious to see how it goes. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that Thatcher's EMPs do reach this even when they're thrown below. So if this is a play that you want to go for, then just get them banned and then no matter what they do to the wall, the electricity will still be there. Up next, we're going to be giving some more love to the attackers and here's a crazy angle to go for a similar pre-fire onto the dorm's big window that we used to do by vaulting on top of the car and then parkouring our way up the fridge. This angle isn't as big as before the rework, but it's going to be able to get into kids' dorms, so there is definitely a possibility at getting the early wall bang. The pre-fire before used to go down the hallway and not into kids, so it's just overall a new variation of a pre-fire option to do when spawning in junkyard. Anyways, Brofam, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Now go take what you saw today and get a bunch of easy kills in your upcoming games. I have a bunch of videos planned out over the next couple weeks, and I think that this next video is going to be one of the most interesting ones I've ever done, and I cannot wait to share it with you all. I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Please stay safe, Brofam. Feel free to come join the Discord, hang out, chat if you need anything. I love you all. See you all very soon. Peace.